Now that we've discussed the software interface, I briefly want to touch on the hardware controller for machine. Now in the intro, I told you how the machine controller can, in my opinion, it does about 99% of everything you're going to need to do right from the controller. You never even have to touch the mouse or look at the computer. So that's really what sets this machine apart and this instrument apart. So briefly, I want to show you each different part of the machine controller. Starting over here on the left, you basically have options to, this is, first one is your control. Now, one thing I want to point out is anytime you see words above a control, for instance here, 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 here on each of the pads actually, um, these involve the shift function. So when I hold down shift, this is not control anymore, this is actually MIDI control back and it comes in. Control is basically going to be the main page where you need to get back to the top level and find all your control settings. Step here is to actually put this into step sequencing pattern mode, which we will discuss later. One of the tabs you're going to be using or buttons you're going to be using a lot is the browse button. Now, as soon as I hit browse, it will activate the machine browser. And you can see all your types that we discussed in the library are right here. So when I want to scroll to kits. When I want to scroll to artist kits, I can go through. And you will see here too that it will load up and give me a graphical display of all those kits. If I'd like to load something, I simply hit load. So when you come out of the browse, you're back to this control page. F1 and F2 have specific functions. Uh, let's talk about these arrows first. So for instance here, say we're on the sampler mode. This is how I can page through all the different pages of the sampler. Back and forth. Or controlling whatever parameter you have highlighted in the software. F1 and F2, these are, <laughs> I have such an old machine that uh, these have now have new names to them. One is, uh, this is, has several options for saving from the controller. And this is mainly your auto write. So when you want to do automation, you can just hold this down and turn knobs and it will automate throughout. Your master section right here, you have a total volume control, master volume for the entire software, tempo control, and swing control. These are all hardwired, so anytime I can turn up and down, they're always going to be there. Tap tempo and note repeat. If you hold shift, you can tap your tempo out rather than turning it. And note repeat when you hold it down will actually hold your notes. So as we mentioned, there are eight groups in machine. Each group can be selected right from here. Down at the bottom here is your transport controls. Your play, record, erase, and shift. Loop will basically take you back to the beginning always. These are fast forward and these will basically skip measures back and forth. And then grid is the amount of the grid, uh, your pattern. So whether you want 16th division grid or 128th or whatever you'd like. Now, a lot of the times you're going to be using these controls here in the middle. You have your mute, solo. These work for both the group level. I can mute a group or I can mute individual pads. You will notice when I hold down mute, I can see the name of each pad over here on the right and the groups over here. So if, I, if I'm not looking at the computer, I can still see what I'm doing. Same goes with soloing. Select, you can actually select specific sounds or events. Maybe you want to actually grab part of the hi-hat pattern that you would use with the events tab. And then you can start and end where you'd like to grab it from. Duplicate is a great option if you want to duplicate a pattern if you want to duplicate a sound, it's basically a copy and a paste type of function. Navigate is a great part where I can actually close out certain parts of the interface to give me more screen on the computer. And I can also zoom in and zoom out from the hardware or move back and forth to the side, however I wish. Down here is your pattern control. Up here is your arranger control. 